Skull scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters! <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. Yeah, easy dwarf. He's got feels. The mighty Grog. Feels and emotions. It is. <laughs> and he also took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> what have we got today, then, boss? So, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Crobane to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? Then so you shall. But not just any Grog. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Tell me, Captain, you ever slay a Grog before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Big Captain. Beastie. Well, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. So I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog? I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But why not his throat? There is one place Graugs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Graugs heel for nothing. You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes. We can sneaky sneaky here, right? There it goes! What a fine, fine specimen! And it'll meet a fine end. to pierce its ankle if I want to bleed it. Step two, Captain. The blood will attract Karagors. Jump on one before she jumps on you. Your speed will now match the ground. Scared to chase you? I'll be waiting. <laughs> that will be quite a ride. Oh dear. Oh, that is very right. Caragor for speed. Ring around the moat bush. I've got to lead this grog to Torben. Oh, we need to Torben, and then a shoot. Head it. Get on this bad boy. 
through the skull is going to take you down. Brow stakes, anyone? I say, it's a wee bit unusual to ride the ground. Nothing like a little improvising, eh? <laughs> All right, Captain. That's it. You showed instinct, gumption, respect. <laughs> Training's over. Got guts. Let's go spill some, eh? Scenes. The darkness of Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to men. They are a stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has mind. sworn to destroy them. He is the happiest man in Mordor. Get old Torvin. The happiest dwarf in Mordor. Turn whole armies to dust with just one breath. See what else he has for us. Ranger, you have to help. My brother was speaking ill of the Dark Lord. It made the slaver furious. <laughs> oh dear, I I will give him a hand once the <laughs> once the main story is complete. But you should not be bitching about the Dark Lord to his minions. That is just a rookie mistake. <laughs> You must help. Yes, I will take down the uh, equivalent of Hershave. Uh, yeah, 
Hey-ho. Let's take down the great white Grog. Torvin! Heads up, Captain! <laughs> Time to go hunting! <laughs> Torvin does so awesome. Mount up. Slam, jump. I see you know the path. The real question is, are you ready to travel it? Whatever happens during the hunt, think what would Torvin do? <laughs> Actually, that's a good life lesson for you to follow always. I pray your training sticks. Or else you'll stick to the wall once the mighty Grog holds you there. I'm ready to fight the Grog. And that's just what you do. Fight. No art. No finesse. The hunt isn't about swinging and slashing. It's bigger than that. From your perspective, Dwarf, everything is bigger. Yes, Ooh, this Grog snap. is very, very big. Oh, oh wait. You're mocking me. Oh, and you've managed to melt the uh, icy the exterior of Talion. He even cracked a joke. It's been a there. long time since I faced this crowd. Let us hope time wasn't as gentle to him as it was to me. My old partner and I once tracked a Grog from Mount Dolmed to Nogrod. We finally slayed it and got stuck out for two days. Ah, those were fun two times. Two days. Last time I saw the beast was when my old partner and I tracked it into his dwelling. How did you get out alive? Luck. The growl knocked me senseless. Could you imagine being when under Grog's leg for two days? Partner. Facing that creature alone was a death sentence. If you, sentence. like, some kindling to your side, just like, setting fire to the leg and nibbling it and stuff going? I don't know. To one beast. Dedication? Or a sign you preach better than you hunt? Oh, that's funny, Captain. I'll be sure to laugh when the beast eats you alive. The mighty Grog will be my legacy. Dwarves will tell tales of Torvan the Hunter for generations. And I'll have them throw your name in there somewhere. That's kind of Torvan. Whoa! The beast. The Karagors are too quiet. I don't think the Grog is home. <laughs> then we go in and we wait. An ambush? How military. I like it. <sighs> Get out of it. Let's do this thing. Ambush a big, white, horny, horned Grog. Next. That's just as sharp as the day our father made it. <laughs> Very pretty door, Max. What do you got there? Can I remember? <laughs> ah, chisel. <laughs> Thank you. Two quick. 
cakes for two. 